What's happening, HD Nation? Zach Edwards here for another Tutorial Tuesday. This time, I'm at the Historical Conquest card review and discussion board. What it would happen if I actually made that a little bit longer? <laughs> Holy cow, that's a mouthful. So this is basically the discussion board where we decide on the rules of the game and clarifications on the cards, abilities. So as you can tell, as you remember, there is the history of the card, it's right here. And then the abilities of the card is right here. So on this discussion, we talk about what cards mean. If there's a question that you guys might have, you can post it here or you can email us and we'll post it on here for your view, viewing pleasure. Okay, so today we've got two new uh, cards question, or questions for the cards, not just for the cards, but also for the game. Because this first one is 2.0 symbols and abilities clarification. Now, we had HC 1.0. 1.0 looks exactly like this, except that the words here, the font was completely different than over here. They weren't lined up, so we had some that were, um, wasn't as easy to read, I'll say. And they were smaller, they didn't stretch to the side, so they didn't look as good. But here's the big difference these symbols down here there are two symbols so those two symbols make it so that you can know when you play the card if you can hold on to the abilities that's an h if you have to play them immediately that's an i or if you can hold them for a constant and use them constantly over and over again that's this first symbol this one right here is you can use it an infinite amount of time you can use it one time or you can use it twice. Now there might be a three or four, we just don't have them yet. So this way, you can actually know exactly how many times you can use the abilities. And again, the abilities are right here. So the question on this is, on the website, it says that the abilities specifically, wait, wait, wait. Says on the, on, abil on the abilities, specifically that it is one time, okay? So this place right here, oh, sorry, this place right here says it's one time, but the symbol, 2.0 symbol, says constant. So for some reason, it was a constant and one time. Yes, there is one card that has that. Now they're talking about the uh, Visigoths army. See right here, it says once, but down here, it's a constant, oopsie. Yeah, that was my fault. I was checking all these and I should have caught that. But in the next print, it's actually been solved. It's been worked on. So in the next time, it, so the abilities, let's read them. Let's just read them out. Okay, it says once when the Viscoth, Viscoths attack, uh, destroy one, wait, wait, wait. When the Viscoths attack, destroy one character and steal 400 morale from that opponent after they won the attack. Okay, I could see a few things in there that need to be fixed. But this should actually be a one. And now if it's a one, there's two ways of handling this symbol over here. It would not be a constant because you only use it once. It can either be a hold or an, um, or an instant, meaning as soon as you play it down, it's instantly, the abilities are either played or lost. You don't get to hold on to them until the next round. It's that way or the highway, really. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand that. He did put an, an addition on here. He's at HC adds, okay, this is me. I added this. Well, yeah. Um, should the abilities get just be rewritten out of confusion? Mm, yeah, the abilities or also right here. Now, I actually wrote this and scheduled it to be posted, so I'm not exactly sure what I was pointing at, but this needs to be reworded, and these symbols need to be changed. So that's what we're going to do in our next print. So what I'll do is I'll go in, fix the image, and when I send it over to our printers, they'll have the new ones, and they'll be able to print the soft new ones. So this card right here, there won't be any, um, there won't be any matches. You will never see this card in a deck because I think this card, excuse me, is actually part of the rare card program. So the rare card program 
makes it so that you can write an essay, one page essay, uh, email it to us, and we'll send you that rare card, the one that you wrote the topic on. So just putting it out there, if you want to join that, go on our website and under shop, you'll see rare cards. That page will have everything you need to know in order to, uh, to register. Now, there's one other card, I guess there's two cards, one other post that was added today. It says, what came first, the opponent or the interrupt? Okay, this has been a big one. So a lot of people have asked me um, if they can interrupt certain things. Now, I'm gonna read this question first and then I'll go to the exact answer. It's very short, very easy to understand. This question though says, can Geronimo be inter interrupted by Simo Eha? Now, just so you know, I do not fix these. These are actual straight out questions copied from someone's email and posted on this page. So the spelling errors are not me. Maybe I could have uh, helped this, this guy out by adding them there. So, and it is, I do it all the same. Everyone does this. They rush through the question. They don't reread it. And when I wasn't rereading it, I was making such bad mistakes. People had no clue what I was talking about. So I reread it and I'm not an editor. So now I have an editor to watch over some of the things I write when they have a chance. So going back to this question, it says, can Geronimo be interrupted by Simo Eha or by a reverse card? Reversed card. Thanks for all that you have done. I really, uh, I really am enjoying the game. Sweet. Okay. So I'm guessing reversed card or by a reverse card. Okay. So let's go to the actual cards that he referenced. Interrupt card, which is what I'm hoping he meant. I think he meant. And if not, put them in the comments below. I'd love to, to answer this. Um, somebody's already answered, as you can see down here in the comments. But this one says, uh, interrupt. He sneaks into your opponent's hand, so the actual hand, and kills one character before it is played. There we go. Sorry, that's a bigger version of it. So before it is played. So Geronimo plays that one. Now here's the thing with interrupt. If you say I'm playing a card and Geronimo is played, boom, it interrupts that card being played. But here you go. Here's another question. Can an interrupt, like see Moiha, interrupt another character that's an other interrupt? Yes. So I play a card, you as my, your, my opponent, plays an interrupt and it stops everything that I'm doing. I don't get to play the abilities of that card because the interrupt stopped that card from being played for a second, for a minute. It interrupted that card. I still have to play it afterwards, but because I've already called it out, but I can't actually use the abilities until Simueha has used his ability or so, until Geronimo has played his abilities. So you play Geronimo on me, you're about to go into my hand and kill a card which is most likely going to be Simu Eha, as soon as you find out who, what cards I have in my hand. So I'm going to play Simu Eha to interrupt your card, and Simu Eha is going to take out Geronimo. Yes, that is how to play it. Now, looking down, this is a parent's email, uh, Facebook account, but their, uh, their student says, I'm going to throw a wrench in this. If all of one's lands have four cards are full, how does an interrupt be played in defense as an inter-interrupt? Oh, I guess it's right. Can Geronimo be inter-interrupted by Simuel? So in, that actually makes sense now, inter-interrupted. Um, so give me one sec before I answer that. I'm gonna go back to my short answer for this. An interrupt stops the card that's being played at the time that's being played. A interrupt can interrupt another card because it's still a card before it is played. So you can interrupt, inter, interrupt. Great, oh, glad we got that down. Now going back to this question, what if all the lands are full? Now in the rules, it does not say that you cannot, um, oh, so this might be a good time to actually uh, figure out if we should change the rules for what uh, Mr. Harris 
the student has actually given us this question. What if my lands are full? Should I be able to discard a card during, um, during gameplay, during someone else's turn? I can discard them in my turn. I'm not supposed to be able to discard them in another person's turn, but what if I'm inter interrupting? Because that person, Simoeha or Geronimo, needs a place to be placed in a land in order for the abilities to start working. If there's no space in that land, what happens? Please put your comments in the comments below. I'm actually going to still answer this question. Um, until then, I'm going to have a little, little intermission between this before I answer the question with a reminder. Subscribe. Watch the videos. We've got them right here on, uh, around the page. And uh, please join Historical Conquest. Be part of our community. Add on to this. We want to be able to hear what you have to, what you think about this. Should Simoe have a sniper be able to take out Geronimo in an inter interrupt? Now, back to the question. Okay, so as we know, you're not allowed to discard on someone else's turn. Your lands stay full until your next turn. If I play Simoeha and I have no room, oopsie, my fault. I'm the one that filled up my lands. I want to play Simoeha. I can't anymore because I have no place to put them. I cannot discard during the turn. And I'm going to add that to the rules when they come out or when the next deck comes out. Um, so that is the answer that I put down. Um, Mr. Harris, thank you so much for giving us this question, putting a wrench in this. It was a great wrench. I like tools. I like wrenches. So uh, I like hammers even more. No, let's not go in that. Okay. Anyways, so yes, that is the answer to the question. You can inter interrupt, but you better have a place on the lands for, them to, uh, for you to put that person because you cannot discard on someone else's turn. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time. Remember, subscribe. Uh, watch the videos. They're here for your enjoyment. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or send us an email, historicalconquest at gmail.com or our new general account, general, like yes sir, general, at historicalconquest.com. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. How do you end this thing? Oh yeah, there it is. Bye.